Hey there, besties. Thank you for stopping by. I am Michonne Denise back with another one. I need you all to subscribe. My analytics show that there's like 70% of people who are watching, they are not subscribed. I need you to subscribe, please, and thank you. On that note, let's get to DJ Envy and his wife. What's her name? Gia. They're putting out a book and now they're talking about how DJ Envy don't know how to F, basically. What does Gia do? I guess she's just a baby maker, but whatever. Let's see what they're talking about. See if they talk about Erica Mena. Faking it in a real relationship. That chapter uh, is about uh, the fact that we got together so young. He was my first. He was my only. Yeah. And um, I was very inexperienced aside from sex. You know, before him, the furthest that I'd ever gotten was second base. Yeah. And before him went up my shirt and I thought that was a big, we waited to have sex uh, to our one year anniversary and he made it very special and, you know, romantic. Um, but we were two kids that, you know, didn't really know what we were doing exactly, but we had fun figuring each other out. Most young girls and even many, many, many women, I'm sure so many women can relate, but you don't know how to achieve an orgasm. Yeah. A lot of women have no idea what it feels like to have an orgasm through sexual intercourse. You know, they know how to do it themselves or they know how to do it through oral sex, but through sexual intercourse, a lot of women just don't know. Now, if you don't know. Now, wait a dang old minute. If they know how to have an orgasm with um, a toy or they know how to do it themselves, basically, then they know what one is. So they know when they're not getting one from a man. And then if you're working through it, then you can discuss what can we do? What can you do? What should we do? How does it work? Let's figure it out. Blah, blah, blah. Understanding that that's easier said than done. Trust me. I'm not negating that these two know how to have a marriage. They've been married for forever. Like I said, they got 55 million one kids. DJ Envy is basically successful. His wife gets to stay home and be the housewife that so many women want or are trying to achieve. Um, but if we're talking about sex and sex only, and this was her first experience, it sounds like, then we're going to have to find some time and space in order to discuss this. No. How do you expect your man to know? Mm -hmm. I especially didn't know. <laughs> so we would be sounds like she's frigid be intimate and he would be putting his best foot forward like he is in the business of satisfying just all around all right just no no <laughs> i'm not right. i'm talking about your um your mentality overall just like, all around <laughs> just in life like he lives to make me happy and he puts his best foot forward in that realm so i would see him trying and really going to work and i'm sure so many women can relate like you want to reward that man for that work and the only reward that you have to offer is an orgasm but yeah. even if i didn't feel it i would still be performative mm -hmm. so yes i was faking it but once you start how do you stop right how do you find so honestly, I know a lot of people are going around saying that DJ Envy can't satisfy his wife. DJ Envy can't satisfy his wife. Honestly, to me, to me, this is how I look at it. She doesn't know what she's looking for any daggone way. She's basically saying that she was a daggone virgin when she married the daggone man. If she only got the second ba base. And so he's experienced, I'm sure. I'm just saying, and DJ Envy ain't ugly. Plus, he's a DJ. That's the easiest ass to get. Come on now. And he's doing his regular, smegular, degular. And she over here faking it. So she doesn't know what she needs. It's not the other person's job to make sure that you have an orgasm. And I really do believe that. If someone is not doing what it is that you need in order to be satisfied, it's your responsibility to say, now hold up a minute. And you show, you guide, you place, you talk, you discuss, you figure out, you get counseling, you do whatever. So don't blame Envy for this. I don't blame Envy for this at all. This is all on her. I'm back out of that rabbit hole. You can't really have a conversation about it now. Yeah, that's the, well, that's the other thing. You can't just uh, start to fake it and then fake it every single daggone time. That's on you. You're making the pers other person think that they're doing the right thing. Why would they think anything other than, okay? That's, this is all her. This has nothing to do with him. 
now. So I actually did it to myself. But what's more important Thank you. is the fact that it had nothing to do with him. Thank he you. He was doing everything that a man could do to please a woman. The problem was that I didn't know my own body. Right. And you couldn't you know, communicate what exactly you wanted. Exactly. Right. Exactly. I Congratulations, Gia. You got it right. Again, I know that a lot of other people are saying other things. I'm looking at this live as it plays right now. You can't tell me that Envy don't have experience. I don't care who anybody is. You cannot tell me that that man didn't have experience. And then this woman right here basically said she was a virgin. So how the hell does she know she don't know nothing 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 i had to learn that first and what the problem was i was so busy performing and putting on a show that i didn't take the time to be pleased i didn't take the time to enjoy it because that wasn't my priority my priority was him and that comes from a place where you know ever since we're young we're we're sold these false narratives that women are sex objects. Women are here for the pleasing of men. Women are toys. You see it on billboard ads. You see it on the cover of books. You see it in, you know, car magazines. You see it everywhere. Sexy women draped across something, advertising something. So we're kind of um, subconsciously led to believe those things. And for me, this is how it played out in my life. Uh, sounds like an excuse, ma'am. I'm going to need you to just go ahead and just say, yeah, it was me. I didn't know what I wanted. I didn't know what worked. I didn't understand. I had to figure it out. I was very young. We've been together since we was young. I didn't have a lot of experience. That was straight on me. He had more experience than I did. He was doing his best. I didn't know how to communicate. Come on now. Don't blame it on the media to this, to that. To that, to that, to that. No, it was you. You didn't know. That's it. That's all. And everything is all good there now, right? Oh, yeah, he's awesome. <laughs> That's an inappropriate question, girl. I wouldn't even have answered her. <laughs> I, I figured out my problems. <laughs> hurt my heart, though. I ain't gonna lie. I hurt my heart. I, I might have cried a couple of times, but we... we no. It, it was, it, was a, it, it helped our relationship even better. But on a more serious note, um, me doing that was very, very detrimental. And it put into effect the fall of a series of dominoes that hurt our relationship in the absolute worst way. It was actually one of the reasons why he cheated. Mm -hmm. So do you feel like- um Well, obvious, obviously, hello. You wanna come around after all these years and just be like, yeah, no, you don't satisfy me. You're the problem. And I don't know that that's what happened. This is just me in my head. Oh yeah, no, I never come. I've been faking it all these years, three, three, four, five, ten 10 kids. And, and I'm just telling you that's what it is, you know? And then of course he goes and then he cheats with Mena. Um, so how did that conversation even come about? Like, Emmy, were you were like, am I not performing enough? Or, or were you at some point like, you're not, performing enough or like how did that come about uh one night we were in bed and uh we were having sex and um she was just i, I remember in the middle of it she was like uh yes but no and i'm like yeah, yes but no what something like that yeah, yes but yes but no what and she was like we got into like a, a argument and then she was like well you know i don't be having an orgasm she didn't say it in that she speaks way more eloquent than i would ever and i was like what and she was like, I don't. I'm like, no, yes, you do. I hear it. Like, yeah, ah, ah, ah. and then she was like, no, I'm faking it. I'm like, every time? And she was like, yeah. And then that. Wow. Like every time? Now that's crazy. Every single time up until whatever this point was, I'm, I mean, I'm being facetious about the kids, but they had to have at least two to three kids by this time. And she, every single time, every single time, ma'am, goodbye. That just crushed me because I thought I was putting in work. Like I'm, I'm sitting there thinking I'm, you know, Big Daddy Long Leg. You know what I mean? Like you know, <laughs> and she's sitting there like, no, no, not at all. Yeah. So um, it really hurt my heart. Like it, it hurt me because for for that time I thought I was pleasing my wife. I thought I was pleasing. You know, you hear all these stories of women talking about their girlfriend. Oh, girl, he was so short. Oh, girl, he ain't doing nothing. And they, I feel like they laughing. Now I feel like that's what my wife is doing. Yeah, you, know, you got to talk about it and then you can make up with yeah, this. You have to get to the point of understanding. So y'all in your 40s, you're going to take advice from this girl that look like she about 20 some odd years old on what you need to do. But we supposed to be taking your book as serious advice. I mean, I guess they got something to offer. I won't be buying it. I don't need to talk to Gia and uh, uh, Envy at all. 
Sorry for your luck. Good luck to these people. Obviously, they're coming out with this now because they want people to buy that daggone book. This is probably not the part of the conversation that you wanted to release because, of course, it's bringing up uh, Erica Mena, who don't need no daggone recognition. I don't think Envy would cheat anymore. I don't know. I don't care, honestly. But Mena is available and hopefully Gia got it together by now. I know they got a podcast too or something like that. So go for them. Have at it. Good luck. Let me know what y'all think. If you heard it, what you think about everything that they said, would you take advice from them? Or are you going to buy the book? I appreciate you if you made it this far. Don't forget, please subscribe to the channel, hit the notifications, consider becoming a member, follow my backup, follow my Instagram, and I will see you all in the next one.